If you've been in this community for any amount of time, you've probably heard about a hack called Noclip. For those who somehow don't know what it is, it essentially stops the player from being able to dive on collisions, allowing them to clip through objects. Noclip is a giant problem for Geometry Dash, as it allows cheaters to grind stars without much effort at all. As a result, Robtop implemented a creative anti-cheat measure to counteract these cheaters. If you own a copy of MegaHack V7, you may be experienced with the show Hitboxes hack. While experimenting with this hack, you may have noticed that there is a hitbox for an invisible object at the player's starting position. This is a hitbox for a spike. Colliding with the spike sets a special flag which I'll call Magic Noclip Spike Collided. If we enable Noclip, you can see at the top of the screen that this flag does not get set. As a result, the game believes I'm cheating and kicks me off the level, stopping me from being a completer. Now, why don't we die when we collide with the spike? Well, if we look at the play layer init function, which loads levels when you click the play button, we can see that the spike is stored as a class member inside a play layer. This allows any play layer function to access the spike. Looking at the functions that access the spike, we can see that it is used during the play layer destroy player method. At the start of this function, the game checks if the object you've collided with is the magic no clip spike by comparing a unique ID given to every single object. If the IDs are the same, it sets the magic no clip spike collided flag and then exits the function before the player is killed.